What's up, everybody? Sorry, missed the buttons with the starting. Zach from Zach's Hockey Box here, and today we have a video I didn't expect to be uh, making, but we got lucky. We found some stuff at the local Target. Uh, if you can't tell what we might be trying to pull here from the attire, because I don't wear Chicago stuff very often. I am wearing the reverse retro I found. Got this on clearance for less than $50, I believe, somewhere in the $50 range. Um, it's a little tight for a 54, not gonna lie. It's a, it's a little... It's a little small, but anyways, I wanted to wear it because I'm wearing this in a video, but um, today, again, looking at the title, I'm sure you guys already know, we have found Series 2 Blast, the, the Jumbo Blasters, and I, if, if you can't tell also, backdrops game redone, see? We, we moved everything, we got the Dazzlers kind of in the picture, I'm still, the lighting's still kind of, still trying to figure out the lighting, so it's, sorry, the lighting's a little off. Sorry, if, uh, so it might be blurring my face a little bit, but hopefully the lighting at least here is fine. But uh, we're going to be opening these today, uh, hopefully pulling that Conor Bedardi rookie card. Uh, they had, so we walked into a random Target. It was like, I was like, you know what? I haven't checked this Target yet. I've hit three or two different Targets to that point. Why not? It was like, I want to say it was like five o'clock uh, this past Saturday. When this video is going live, if I post this all correctly and do everything I want to do correctly with this. And I was like, you know what? Let's go hit the target. Let's just see by some miracle if they stocked today late or whatever. Let's just see. Let's just see what can come across. And they had a full, relatively full shelf. I want to say there was probably about 10 the blasters, the four packs. And then like probably like six to eight of these. And I'm like... Yes, so I grabbed two of these, grabbed a blaster, and as we were walking around, I was kind of debating, I'm like, yeah, let's let's get two more blasters. So I'll get two more blasters, let's just call it, like, spend about 150 approximately dollars. I was like, that's about what I would have paid for a hobby box if it was what they should have been instead of the jacked up price everything is now. So I went to, go to, went to go back and get it within, I would say, maybe 20 minutes, and the shelf was cleared. So somebody had clearly came in, saw the shelf, and just kind of, arm scooped it all into their basket and bought out the whole entire shelf uh so spent a good chunk of money but uh glad i got at least something to open for you guys because i wanted to open some of this product and uh i was trying the, for the last since thursday this past thursday i've been trying to get some of these blasters there's some kind of something to open for you guys for this product because i really want to open some and uh finally finally found some so we're gonna open up both these today and this is the set that the the box that comes with the uh, the rookie class pack, and I cannot get over how expensive <laughs> all this Bedard stuff is. Like, I'm not saying he's not going to be worth it. Like, he's clearly a very special talent. Just watching some of the highlights of that, he's very good. But like, people are losing their minds over the kind of Bedard rookie cards right now, and it's it's crazy like how expensive this stuff is getting. Um, with the million dollar bounty on the one of one young gun is crazy the i think the base young gun of his is i think i saw like people are saying like 900 dollars the first public sale of it or something like that i'm like that is crazy amount of money for a young gun that's going to be relatively available um the variants probably make a little more sense they're going to be a little more expensive because obviously you have like one of ones one of 25s or 10s or whatever it is and like go up but like the base one I mean, I'm not saying it should be cheap. It's going to be an expensive car, especially down the road. But, like, right at the opening right now, like, it just feels it feels a little a little, a little expensive at this point. That's just me. Uh, but let's get into this opening real quick. So I have not opened up much. I opened up the blaster I, I got, so we're just going to open up this one. Didn't get any, any Bernards in the blaster. But there is something at the end of the video. Stay tuned. That I do want to show you guys. That was a fun story that I will probably get to towards the end of the, the, this opening to see uh, let's tell you what's going on there. We got a Trevor Zegris rookie. We got a Phoenix Copley instinctive. Oh, John Gaudreau. Okay, I'll take that that canvas. Okay, okay. Hey, Andrew Cop. We didn't get a single Red Wings player in the the blaster. The four packs opened in the blaster. Not a single single Red Wings player uh, in the bulk. So uh, that was that was kind of funny. I'm like, wow. Uh, not even a Red Wings player. It was a, kind of a disappointing amount of bulk. We did get. Uh, Real quick, I guess of the blaster, the best thing we got was probably this insert. So like the speckled version of the instinctive uh, Igor Shesterkin card. That was the best thing I think we pulled in the blaster from my quick memory here. I got literally have the stack right here. But <laughs> anyways, uh, 
Yeah, it, the, 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 it's just it's crazy to see how much people are spending on this Bedard. Uh, like how humongous this thing, the the scalping and the cracking and the it's just crazy what's going on this with the hobby right now. Uh, Uvis Balinski, the defenseman from the Florida Panther. I don't even know who that is. I am not a big fan of those PC cards. Those those don't really do much for me. These are okay. I mean, it's a nice Ovechkin card, like the Deep Roots. They're okay inserts. They're, they're not my favorites, but they're definitely better than most of the inserts they usually come out with. So, I, I can't complain too much about that. But yeah, no, it's just, I, I don't even know if I pull a, a Bedard Young gun if I want to sell it, because it might be one of the few chances I get at it right now. I do believe that the product will be a lot easier to come by the later we get... Oh, another micro... We did get uh, Matthew Coronado. We got one of these in the blaster, too. Uh, Miko Rantanen. And then we got some some bulk there. But uh, I do think the product's going to be a little easier to get as the hockey season kind of winds down and stuff like that, and people aren't paying attention as much to Conor Bedard. But uh, we, we shall see how that all works out. That, that's that's where, like I said, my main focus is going to be when I want to start getting this, especially because you look at anything that's before this year. We got a Tyler Kalevin, super superstars. Oh, a Billy Huso. Oh, well, there you go. We got a Joel Trisdale, uh, young gun. But a Billy Huso, speckled one. These are supposed to be like one in every 40 packs, one of that, or something, something along those lines. So that's kind of cool to get two of those. Fortunately, not the not the cards you really want. We got a deep roots. Oh, this even has like a, a different finish to it. That's interesting. And then we got our, our bulk there. Yeah, I want to say the introspective or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, sparkled is what it's called. It's one in 20 packs. Sorry, not one in 40. One in, one in 20 packs. That's good. One in 40 seems really, really, really unlucky. Like, really unlikely that we're going to pull two of those in, what, four, five, six, seven packs? <laughs> like, that, that seemed a little unlikely. So, yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. But still, still kind of cool looking speckled one. We got ourselves a Matty Veneers glossy. Brent Burns portrait. I'm still not humongous fan of these portraits. And uh, Elvis Morzlikens instinctive. So nothing, nothing too crazy out of this first one yet. But uh, let's see. We got this is our last pack from this uh, this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then yeah, the seventh would be the the uh, rookie class. I kind of want to open the rookie classes together. Maybe we'll, we'll we might we, we'll probably open those together. I right, got. Uh, Pink Dazzler, it looks like, right here. Josh Mahura, Wade Allison. We got ourselves a Sidney Crosby Pink Dazzler. Okay. That's pretty cool. Hopefully he's been on screen. I've been kind of... Nikita, Nikita Nesterenko, Superstars. And Elias Pettersson, PCs. Okay, so, again, nothing super, super crazy there. No Bedards. The luck ain't happening with the jersey and stuff, but it happens. What happens again? I I don't expect to pull a Bernard rookie in this. Like it just seems. I literally just grabbed a couple because I was just excited to see him. I didn't expect the shelf to get cleared out. <laughs> like pretty much within a few minutes of me getting these few boxes. So it was cool that I at least got a couple of the boxes to like open. Um, I'm happy I got something because I don't know how many of you guys out there. Let me know in the comments below. Like were you guys able to find any of this product in stores at retail? Because it like I said it was like three different three or four different stores I went to and they just. This is the first one I actually had product. <laughs> I totally just ripped the crap out of this box. But it's it's there. It's fine. It stands. Alright, so we're going to put the rookie pack off to the side. We'll do those together. Alright, and then here's our six packs. Alright, let's see what we get in this one. If down the road I might eventually break and just get a, a hobby box at one point. But I don't know. It, again, that seems kind of expensive for me right now. I don't. I don't know if I want to spend three hundred dollars on a box at a chance to get his rookie card. We got a Nathan McKinnon glossy. We got a Tyson Forrester superstars, and we got a Jake Ottinger instinctive. I'm not sure how I feel about that Larkin. God, the Red Wings <laughs> just uh, has so much high hopes that they might make the playoffs this year. But man, they are not. They have not been playing that well lately. <laughs> it's been kind of a. Uh, Kind of a rough sled the last few games, and without what with Larkin being out, it's it's been a huge difference this year when Larkin's not playing. How bad the Red Wings have been! It's been kind of disappointing. Oh, we got a monster season for Conor McDavid. We got a Justin Surdith. Surdith. Well, I don't even know what this is. Monster season. Oh, that's pretty cool insert. Okay, look in that. 
We got ourselves the, that one. We got a Travis Konechny. And we got a Cole Caulfield PCs. Again, hopefully these have been on camera. I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to finagle everything and reorganize. So, like, the, again, the backdrop is officially new and changed up. I just uh, haven't gotten everything completely in, in place yet. So, bear with me as I try to figure this all out. Like, how the back, how I want this all to be set up and, like, how these shelves are going to look. And so you guys can actually see the Dazzlers. We do have the Dazzlers. We got the... Luongo banner right here. I totally forgot I even had that to be completely honest when I was moving the shelves around because it was buried behind this shelf <laughs> I forgot that was even there. So that was kind of fun. I was like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot that that was a thing Monster seasons 1 in 30 packs. Okay So that's what I was looking for while I was kind of rambling there, but Yeah, definitely let me know how you guys think about the, the backdrop uh, What kind of special stuff there? We got some of the graded cards off to the side here uh, the, that you guys can kind of see, kind of can't see, but I thought they'd be in better position there. I didn't move these back over while I was looking at that. Okay, there we go. We're all good. We got distracted. Okay. Joel Fairhair B. We got ourselves Erica Branson. We got a Brandon Tanev. Oh, we got a Mitch Marner Blue Dazzler. Ooh. Clay Stevenson was the young gun. Blue Dazzler. I haven't gotten a blue one in a while. That's pretty cool. And we got a Jake Allen, who's the newest goaltender for the... New Jersey Devils. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see how that goes, how that works out. But it looks like we already hit, what, two Young Guns in this? So I don't know how many you usually get. Is it usually just two? I, I can't see us getting another Young Gun in this because the first one only had two. But with the new configurations, I have no idea. I didn't open up any of these giant black boxes uh, with the first set. Okay, we got ourselves a Sean Farrell. Ooh, we got a Les Pi Elias Pedersen PC Speckled, I guess is what that's called. Oh, no, okay. Mes Michael Kessel Ring. I do like that. That's a, a good young gun. I think, again, he's not like a super offensively big defenseman, but I do like his play. He, he does seem like he's going to have some stuff. We're getting Malkin, Deep Roots. That's pretty cool. Shea Theodore, Braden Point. We got ourselves the Carter Hart card. Yeah, that's disappointing. And Anton Lundell. Let's see here. Like I said, I do have some, like, I can get them online. I know a few places that where I can get these were like reliable sources um they're just again like 45 dollars a piece instead of the 25 like the blasters are so like that's why i was trying to find some of these at like at the actual msrp i'll put that oh there we go we got a combat dart glossy there we go i'll take that i mean i get his young gun but i will gladly take the combat dart we'll kind of okay. okay there we go we got we got the boy i'm sorry the camera's shaking so much oh a seth jarvis one so, Cool Caulfield, Eclip, uh, Eclip, I don't know. Anyways, Seth Jarvis, that's cute, the puppy. I like that one. That, that's a pretty cool canvas card. It does seem a little hard to get the canvases. Was it the only second canvas card, I think? So, it does seem like canvas. But, hey, I will take the Conor Bedard glossy card. That, I'll take that. I will gladly take that card. Even though it doesn't say rookie on there. That's kind of disappointing. They didn't put rookie on there. Okay, let's see what we got. This is our last pack of, like, the base, and then we'll get into the rookie, actual, the rookie packs. We got ourselves Checklist. We got ourselves Thatcher Demko. We got ourselves Elias Pedersen, Glossy. We got ourselves a Jonah, a Jonah Kapanen, Superstars. And we got ourselves a Special Ow PCs. Okay, so again, like, hey, we got Akon Bedard. Can't complain about that. And then let's see what we get in these two packs. These things, like, I saw somebody was trying to sell these things for, like, 50 bucks a pop on eBay. I'm like, that's crazy if people are paying, like, $50 a pack for these. Ugh, <laughs> oh, just crazy to me. Okay, sorry, I opened that off. I'm so sorry. Sean Farrell. Uh, I'm not sure on how to say his name. And we got ourselves a Walker Dunhair. Dunhair? Okay, so we got some... Interesting rookies there. All right, our last pack here, guys. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the opening. Uh, I'm glad I could find some of these to open up for you guys because that was like kind of my goal this weekend was to find that. I opened it off camera, but we did get the Conor Bedard, so that's pretty cool. We got Adam Fantelli, which is another rookie I really, really wanted. And then that's the red parallel, Matthew Carnado. You can get red parallels as well, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Two Conor Bedards? I'll take that. I'll take two Conor Bedard cards out of the out of the, the the three products I got to pull off the shelf before somebody cleared it out. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys were able to go out and find some of this stuff and hunt some Conor Bedard yourself. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys were able to get lucky enough to pull a young gun of his or a parallel of his. And before we officially go, because I did say stay to the end as I drop all the shelving, move the camera all over the place. Should have probably pulled the binder out beforehand. But this is where I keep a lot of like the, the higher rarity or better hit young guns and cards I have. Uh, but we do have one. I should have definitely gotten to this beforehand. Where did we put them? We put them somewhere in here. So I went into a Target while I was looking for these blasters. And again, couldn't find any. But they had some... And they really, honestly, hockey cards have been kind of hard to find since the hobby's kind of gone crazy over Bernard. They had some Opeachy hangers, hanger packs, like, you know, the big, the big fat packs. They had some of those, and I was debating about getting that, and there was some other stuff I kind of wanted. So I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll grab a couple of packs of, I uh, got some packs of, like, the Lorcana stuff that I've been picking up. I got a couple of other things, and then I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get the Pokemon, which I was thinking about getting that. I'll get three of these hanging Opeachy packs, whatever, you know what, I was like, why not, let's, let's try and get a Bedard out of one of those. And uh, lo and behold, we did actually pull the Marquee Rookie Combat Dart. So we technically have three Combat Dart Rookie cards. So I'm not going to complain about that. It was so nice pulling that. I was like, wow, I did not expect to pull it in one of these hanging packs. But I will gladly take that all day long. So it was cool seeing that. And I cannot... So when I pulled it and I was sitting there with my sister, we were talking. And um, we were actually sitting at a Burger King after we, ate, after we went there. And uh, we were just kind of talking. And I was opening the packs... And I pulled it, I was like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I was like, I think he's like a $60 card. Like, it's like a relatively expensive card for, like, the paper version of this. And then I looked it up just to see what the comps were. And it was, like, almost $100. I think it was, like, $85 to $90 uh, before shipping for this card. So I'm like, this has gone up that much since the Young Gun has been released. Like, that's just crazy to me how expensive this is. So I don't know what I want to do with this Marquee Rookie yet. I'm debating about grading it i haven't quite decided yet it looks like it's in, it's in a pretty good shape overall like if you look kind of real quick here like the corners all look pretty decent like i think it has a like a chance to be a psa 10 maybe so i'm debating about sending it off with some other rookie cards i have and do like a psa reveal video for you guys so look forward to that i'll let you know if i end up not doing that but that's that's where i'm leaning towards is to send him off to get graded just to see if we can get a psa 10 and i might keep it just for the fact that that was like our first Combradard rookie card I pulled. So I might keep it. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been Zach's Hockey Box. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments about how your hunting's been going. And uh, I will upfront you guys again very, very soon.